Hi everyone, Cliff Berrickman from Finding Bigfoot, out here in Mount Hood National Forest trying to capture more thermal footage of a Sasquatch to show you at information in Orlando. You want to know what goes into a nocturnal Sasquatch search? Check this out. What we're doing now is drawing attention to this location. Any Bigfoots within hearing distance might come our direction to check out what's happening here. We basically start casting like we're fishing by going for night walks and doing knocks and, and short whoops and stuff back and forth to each other to draw their attention and rise up their curiosity to come in for a closer look. If you hear anything at all, um, try to see what it is on Therm, let me know what's going on, and then uh, we'll see what comes next. There's mountain lions, and there's two of you, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, there's bears. Bears get shot at here. However, Sasquatches, they're going to hear you coming. They're going to get in a safe position off the side of the road and be very interested in what you're doing because you're doing something very out of the ordinary. Once we were on the road by ourselves, it became really terrifying. For me, it was very exciting versus nerve-wracking. Haley, on the other hand, I think we had a little bit more nervous energy going on. Any noise that we would hear would set me off. Jen was completely calm the whole time. I gotta be honest, I lean a little bit more towards the believer side of things than, than Haley does. I wouldn't put the thermal camera away from my eye because it was the one thing that was giving me any type of sanity. We just found a spot that we were more comfortable with, had some large trees, we could do our knocks. Uh, it was more of an open area, so Haley felt a little bit more comfortable. Back to back, Jen and I could have a 360 view of what was going on. Then all of a sudden, we heard the sounds. 